Welcome back to the morning show. I'm sipping my hot cup of joe. Compliments of Rocky Mountain Roastery. Uh, check those guys out. They do great lattes, great espressos, great decaf coffee if you've had about eight in the morning and you need to <laughs> so steady the hand, Keith. Uh, they're right there next door to Murdoch. So check them out in Fraser. And I'm hanging out with Keith Sanders, owner of Beaver Sports Shop, mountain bike extraordinaire, ski extraordinaire. You know what's going on with the trails in town. You live and breathe trails. So let's talk Let's talk about the trails, man. I mean, we, we've got great biking in the winter, which I never thought I'd ever be able to say those words. It's pretty awesome. It, but uh, that's not our bread and butter in this town. No, it's not. I mean, for all the huge amount of stuff that everybody's participating in the winter, when you come back for summer, it's even more out there. And the big thing is there's less people here. The weather's nice. And the opportunities out there are phenomenal. We have hundreds and hundreds of miles of trails. I think, you know, you had Jamie on. They did yep. just saw a little spot on here from Granby Ranch. We have a ton of trails out there. Right. You had Andy Miller talking about the hut to hut system. And that was one of the things that we've got a proposed expansion plan for the trail system that's right now working right around Winter Park. I brought a map in here so we can see some of this stuff that's right here. And it's in a phenomenal expansion for our already world-class trail system. And, and just to hit on that, what's great is I know a lot of people coming in the summer are like, well, we want to be near the bike trails. You know, we want to stay near the bike trails. Doesn't matter. Just pick, pick, pick a place to stay because yeah. there's outdoor, out the back door biking all over this county. It's just fantastic, whether it's Granby, Fraser, Tavernash, Winter Park, Winter Park Resort. I mean, it's just incredible. Yeah, and there's even some stuff up in Grand Lake too. So there's really no bad place. But if you're in Winter Park or Fraser, you park the car, it's gonna gather dust while you're here. Yeah, right. And, and you're gonna hop on your bike and just roll. You really don't need a car while you're here. Yeah, we got great access to get from town to town on the Fraser River Trail or the Granby to Fraser Trail. So you can go get that cocktail without even starting the engine. So that's the whole idea, right? That's the whole yeah. idea. You go out and ride, you go home, get cleaned up, and you roll in for dinner and a cocktail at night and just kick back and have a great time. Well, let's talk trails. Uh, we've done, seen some major improvements. Uh, we've done a lot of work both to existing trails mm -hmm. and adding new trails. Yep. And uh, so now that we've got that done, we've got a great base of our trails. Now it's time to do some new work here. That's what we've got. So I brought a map in. This is a proposed expansion of our current trail system. We have roughly 600 miles of trails in our immediate area here. And if you're looking at this map, you can see all those colored kind of blotches on there. What we're doing is taking a trail system that is already fantastic and we're taking it and making it more of a planned system. So we're gonna take and take some of the old roads and things like that, that were just old forest service roads that were really meant to transport trees. And some of those are gonna go away. We're also, gonna if they're not even being used, they can... Yeah, we're okay. gonna take, yeah, we're using those now. Those are gonna go away and they're gonna become like quality single track trails. They'll be, you know, so you can bike on them, you can hike on them, you do all kinds of stuff. There's gonna be new trails that are put in. We're gonna take places to where you had a trail in, Another trail began and you had miles of road in between. Now we're gonna have trails connecting a lot of that. It's gonna be a fantastic the, improvement start to Start your system. ride on the trail and your ride in the trail as opposed to, you know, there's some great loops. And so sometimes our rides will entail a great loop here, hop on the road, a great yep. loop here, hop on the road. Exactly. So the idea is to connect everything. Yep, that's, that's the idea is to take this and make it really a fun, more of a fun trail system. It's something that just seems to seamlessly flow all the time. So you start out, you go ride, all you do is keep pedaling your bike, you get done, you smile, and you have a good time. And and if, I, if I understand correctly, this will all be done by June. <laughs> Boy, no, I wish it was, saying, but yeah, if the I snow was melt. Yeah. yeah. And so if, what, what are we talking about? Is this a you know, two, five, 10 year plan? I mean, this is a project. This is a, a lot of miles of trail. This is a lot of miles. You're looking at roughly 18 or 20 miles of new trail. You're looking at putting br things like bridges in to maintain water yep. quality. Part of the plan here is working with the bio, like the biologist yep. so that you can work around critical habitat for like deer and elk or other species out there. Mm -hmm. Put a quality recreational experience in, move a trail that might have gone through and impacted wildlife. Very important to coexist with the wildlife. Absolutely. A lot of people are here for the nature and the scenery and the beauty too in the serene woods. We don't all need to tear it up. So that's the whole idea is to. Yeah. So you're looking at, you know, roughly about a five year plan. Okay. The total build out of this is, it's not cheap. It's gonna be in that $700,000 range. For our first year, probably have about 60% of it funded right now. Okay. So with Headwaters Trails Alliance is the official group that's out there that um, manages the money. It's their responsibility to kind of implement that. This with is Headwaters Forrester. Trail Alliance. They're on Facebook, they're on Twitter websites, everything else. Uh, so definitely check them out because they're pretty 
integral part to this whole process. They're, they're the key part. Yeah. The Grand Mountain Bike Alliance was key in making the initial plan that this is kind of formulated off of. Headwaters Trails Alliance then said, we need to get input from every type of user group that's out there. Yep. And this is basically the first stage of that result of years and years of working with groups together. So, to so make you said it we're 60% funded. So the money doesn't just fall off the trees. Oh, you know, well, so I wish. Like, yeah. So <laughs> uh, we still, you know, this is just year one, 60% funded for year one, Absolutely. not for the five year plan. So where's the money coming from? Right now you have money coming from, you have the Towns of Winter Park. You had Andy Miller in here as trustee for the yep. town of Frazier. They're certainly a big partner in that. Forest Service is putting money, money into this as well. There's other fundings with some grants and some other monies coming in. There's some private donations, but still you look at for the first year, there's still you know $170,000. It's probably a shortfall to be able to take this and really run with it the first year and make a big impact. So certainly we're out there looking to raise money at this point in time and you know, get anyone who can, can contribute, whether it's in you know, soft dollars with labor and some volunteer time, or if it's someone who says, hey, I really think this is important, I wanna write a check. Cut that check, you know, yeah. Oh, a, lot of, a lot of us up here have expendable income and we wanna cut a check somewhere, right? Oh, absolutely. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. But there are definitely some, you know, we've got some retirees and stuff that would love to help better the community and better the services we have here. But uh, we're gonna to need to take a quick break. Uh, where do we find the information online? The best place is the Headwaters Trails Alliance website. So you go to headwaterstrailsalliance.org. Okay. Yep. Headwaterstrailalliance.org. Check them out. We're hanging out with yep. Keith Sanders, owner of Beaver Sport Shop right here in downtown Winter Park. Check him out as well. Uh, he knows everything there is to know. Would you say you've ridden every inch of trail? Oh, I'd have, yeah. If, there it is. If not, there's very few knows, I haven't. He knows this county like the back of his hands. So if you want to... <laughs> Uh, someone to steer you in the right direction. He's the guy to do it. So uh, we'll be back in a little bit. And uh, it's headwaterstrailsalliance.org. Exactly. We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs>